So let's see what was happening. Um, I said, Holy Spirit, knowing my prayer last night, shared with all of my brothers as a symbol of my willingness. I like vaguely remember this. I don't remember what the prayer was. What I do remember is it happened on um, a teaching night. I was teaching. I was teaching something. And I remember coming in and I remember saying, I am teaching this as a prayer to myself because I really want to learn this. And so I remember that saying out loud to all of my brothers, I want to learn this. Tonight's teaching is a prayer. I don't remember what it was, but maybe we'll figure it out as we continue reading. So Holy Spirit, knowing my prayer last night, shared with all of my brothers as a symbol of my willingness, knowing where I think I am and what my challenges seem to be, and knowing the sincere goal of my heart, what would you share with me right now? And here's the answer. Right there. Right now, there is the thought of guilt in your mind. You think you are guilty because you do not have the experience of being awake now. And I'll tell you, that still crosses my mind. And maybe everybody else here feels it too. Feeling guilty for not being awake yet. Okay, so, yep, yep, I see one yep, yep. already. I see, have another yep here on my side. There's another yep, okay. <laughs> so we're all guilty because we're not awake. At least that's what we think. Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can just take a moment to laugh at ourselves now. <laughs> but apparently that had something to do with what was going on. So right there, right now, there is the thought of guilt in your mind. You think you are guilty because you do not have the experience of being awake now. Step back and look at that thought. Be detached from it. It is just a thought. It has no reflection unless you choose to give it the power of reflection. Let the thought sit there a moment. Let it be unattended to. It will wait for you. And you can return to it if that is what you choose to do. Now this is interesting. It looks like what he's teaching me to do is rest the mind. Um, you know, because at some point I learned that from him. He may have told me to rest, but like everybody else, it didn't mean I knew how. You know, I didn't know how to rest. And it looks like what he's doing here with this particular thought is he's teaching me to rest the mind. He's, he's saying, let it sit there a moment. Well, you know, if I'm letting it sit there a moment, I'm not denying it, right? right? right. I'm, I'm actually holding it in my mind long enough to look at it, but I've had to step back from it in order to do that. So there's a detached position where I'm letting the thought sit there in the mind, and I'm looking at it. So he says, let the thought sit there a moment. Let it be unattended to. Now that is definitely resting. When it's sitting there in the mind, but it's unattended to, which means I'm not giving it the power. I'm not letting it spin and spin and spin. I'm not letting that thought go to the next thought in the story. There's just a stall. It's just sitting there. And then just in case there's some kind of a panic in me, like I need to think this thought. I need to think this thought. <laughs> this is an important thought. I need to think this thought. Just in case that's there, he's saying, don't worry, it'll wait for you. If you want to go back to it, after right. you've looked at it for a minute or so, you can go back and think it, you know, but let's just look at it for a bit. And, of course, he knows, he knows that if I look at it for a bit, you know, from that observer point of view, I'm actually going to lose interest in the story it's trying to tell me. Uh, he knows that, and, and, in fact, he's reminding me of Eckhart Tolle right now. Eckhart Tolle uses this in form. You know, for people who, um, the one example I remember him using it with was somebody who um, ate compulsively, compulsive eating, and didn't know how to stop compulsive eating. And he said, well, whenever you see that thought in your mind, he said, just look at that thought. Just let it be. And I think he recommended for 15 minutes. Really? 
Yeah, he said, instead of doing anything about it, just look at that thought in your mind for 15 minutes. He said, if it's still there after 15 minutes of looking at it, resting with it, just letting it be, well, then, you know, go eat. <laughs> but he says, probably, if you just look at it for 15 minutes, it's probably just going to die on its own. That's resting the mind. And that's exactly what Holy Spirit is teaching here. Just let it stay there unattended to. Just let it stay there. It'll still be there. If you want to go eat in 15 minutes, if you want to believe this thought in five minutes, it'll still be there, but just let it be for a bit because Holy Spirit knows it will probably die or at least you'll start to lose interest in it. It will weaken. And then he says, now let me give you another thought to consider. This thought is just as much an option as the other thought. And remember specifically what we're talking about here is the thought that I'm guilty for not being awake yet. Okay? So he says, let me give you another thought to consider. This thought is just as much an option as the other thought. I hold it out to you as a gift and ask that you accept it as yours. You are guilty of nothing my love. You have never been anything but the bright light that you have been asked to be. I am very pleased. I am grateful for you. And my love for you is unending. It extends in all directions forever and ever without obstruction. You are the thought I created you to be, and you do all that I ask. You are never absent from me, always in my presence, a part of my own warmth. You are everything you were created to be, and you have never been anything else. You imagined yourself differently for a bit, but that has changed nothing. Now, that's a completely different thought than I'm guilty for not being awake right now. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> not the same content exactly. <laughs> not the same content. <laughs> completely different thought. I am absolutely perfect in the eyes of the Holy Spirit. 